In the previous video, we went over how to properly set up your work area for plating. But let's now go over the recommended settings for white rhodium. Your plating beaker should be heated to 110 degrees Fahrenheit and use a platinized titanium anode. For the plating rectifier, we recommend 5 volts with a 30 to 45 second plate time. With everything set, we're ready to get started. For safety, we recommend wearing gloves, an apron, and protective eyeglasses. Also, ensure your work area is properly ventilated. For repair items or badly oxidized pieces, you will want to start with polishing and then cleaning in an ultrasonic cleaner. Once clean, rinse in distilled water. For new items, you can usually go straight to the electro cleaner. Use a piece of copper wire to hold your item and connect the negative lead of the rectifier. Electro clean for one minute at 125 degrees Fahrenheit with five volts applied to the stainless steel anode. This process removes any oil from the hands and polish to ensure the plating solution bonds well to the surface. Once completed, rinse in distilled water, then visually inspect the item for polish oil and electro clean again if needed. Next, acid activate for a few seconds and follow it up with another distilled water rinse. This will neutralize the electro cleaner soap. Finally, connect a negative lead from the plating rectifier to your item. Turn on the unit and begin plating. We're going to plate for about 40 seconds at 110 degrees Fahrenheit with 5 volts applied to the platinized titanium anode. Make sure to visually inspect the item throughout the plating process. When the desired color is achieved, finish with a distilled water rinse. Well there you have it, a perfect white rhodium plate. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below or feel free to contact us and be sure to check out our playlist of plating videos. Thanks for watching.